What is up, Road Rash family? It's Case Swan, and today we're gonna to do an upgrade to the Jeep that has been long overdue. We are gonna be installing a new winch on the front of the Jeep. So So a winch is a necessary upgrade for any off-roader or jeeper who spends any amount of significant time on dirt roads or exploring out in the woods. It could really save your day by doing a, a personal self-recovery, but there's so many options in winches and even front bumpers that you have to take in consideration when you're upgrading your rig. So there's a lot of questions you have to ask yourself about what are your personal needs and what's the needs of your rig. So for me, there was a couple of questions I had to ask myself about my rig and my needs. One, I like my stock bumper. This is the Freedom Edition of the Jeep Wrangler JKU. It's got this great gunmetal stock bumper and I like that. I'm still undecided whether or not I wanna swap out to a steel bumper. Two, the weight of a steel bumper would be a significant addition to the front of this Jeep. So I gotta take that into consideration also. And then three, the cost, that may not be something that a lot of you have to worry about, but for me, cost is a big factor in what kind of winch or upgrades I'm gonna to do to the rig. So for now, I've decided to go with this option here. This is the rock hard winch plate that goes right above your factory bumper. In addition, I'm gonna do a 12,000 pound Badlands winch from Harbor Freight. So we're gonna get that installed today. I'm gonna to give you a review on how I like it and how easy it was to install. So let's go back to my garage and get this installed. So even though we're not swapping out the bumper for a steel bumper, we already know that this winch is gonna add a bit of weight to the front. So what I wanna do first is I wanna take a couple of measurements just to see if it's gonna make the front sag at all. We're gonna take a measurement from the ground to this point here, and then we'll take it from the ground to the front bumper to see if it dips any. So this point here, we're at 37 and a half. And then to the front bumper, we're right at 33 to the front bumper on the top. So we already know the steel winch plate and the winch is gonna weigh a lot on the front of the Jeep. Let's just look and see and figure out exactly how much weight we are adding. The rock hard winch plate weighs 25 pounds by itself. Let's add the winch to it. So adding the Badlands 12,000 pound winch to the scale with the fair lead and the control box we are looking at 62 pounds just for the winch. So the first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is come in here and remove the plastic piece here using these little plastic screws here, one on this side and one on this side, and then your air dampener, which I've already removed. I don't even ride with my air dampener down there, so um, that's already gone. But Let's remove this plastic piece. So both of my screws, because they're old plastic stripped out, so we're gonna have to drill these little screw holes out. So once we pull these out, these things literally are so old they just rotted. We're gonna wanna pull this all the way over as far as we can to one side because you're not gonna be able to get it all the way out. And then over here, we're gonna take an 18 millimeter 
We're gonna go back here and loosen it up just enough to pull this front bumper forward a little bit and we can shift this thing out. So once you have this unbolted in the back, you can pull this out just a little bit, just enough to slide this piece all the way out. There you go. Now we just unscrew the other side and then we can remove this front bumper. Now you can remove the bumper completely or you can just loosen it up enough to push it forward so that you can slide this winch plate in to place. Now the cool thing I like about this particular winch plate from Rock Hard is there's no cutting and no fabricating in order to put this in there and we don't even have to remove or move the water pump. Um, what we do is this little slit, the Rock Hard fits inside that little slit and fits inside this little slit. So. We don't have to move this at all. There we go. So I went ahead and just removed the whole bumper, just kind of let it sit on this, um, only because it was a pain in the butt to get to that screw um, underneath the water pump over here it was a pain in the butt to get to the screw underneath the pump. So I'm gonna to have to move this down just so I can get to it. And we're gonna to have to load up the winch before we put this on there. And there wasn't any room between the bumper and here to screw this on. So I went ahead and just dropped the bumper down just so that I can gain access to some of these parts here. We're just gonna snug these down until we can get our bumper back on. So before I put the winch up here, I'm gonna install the fair lead here on the front, just so I can get to my bolts back here. So before we set the winch in, we're gonna go ahead and pop on the control box, wire it up to our terminals here uh, and get that ready. Everything is color-coded just nicely. So the wires are accurately color coded, but you do have this extra ground wire. So we're gonna to have to leave this one out and we're gonna run it through. Let's go ahead and set this up. Like that. And then we're gonna take our ground wire and drop it in back here. We've got all the wires properly fixed here. We're gonna go ahead and just kind of hand tighten this down onto the mounting plate, run these wires into the battery, put the bumper back on. So we should have a spot going right between the radiator. There's a little bitty hole that we could run that wire all the way around through here underneath this body piece all the way back here to the battery.
All right, we've got it all wired up. We're going to feed our line through. And then we're going to test it. Now I do have plans to change this out to um, a different fair lead and also a synthetic line, but this is gonna have to do for now. We're gonna plug this up just to see if we got all the power hooked up right, and then we're gonna put the bumper back on. It's all good. So the height after the installation from here, we are right at 36 and three quarters. And to here, we're right at 32 and a quarter. So we did lose a little bit of height in the front, but we did also install about 85 pounds to the front of the Jeep. It's solid. So it's day two, it got a little late last night, so I wasn't able to film a final thoughts video on this install and on this product, but I wanted to make sure that I gave you some time to give you an overview on this install. Now I could tell you this rock hard went on seamlessly. There was no cutting, no fabrication, no need to move any pumps or anything. It literally just bolted straight onto the frame could not have been any easier. Now, it could probably be installed in about 45 minutes or so. I can't speak enough about this, except for the fact that it weighs 25 pounds. Other than that, this is an awesome, awesome solution if you wanna keep your factory bumper like I did. With the Badlands 12,000 pound witch, I haven't had an opportunity to use it yet. However, the install was seamless. It went straight to the battery, worked the first time as soon as I hooked it up, perfect. Now I do have a trip coming up at the end of the year that is going to require me to use this 12,000 pound winch. I promise you I'm going to be in some sticky situations, but I will give you a review early next year after I've had the opportunity to use this for a little bit and kind of give you my thoughts on is Badlands going to be a great option and a great brand for a winch. I'll update you for that. Until then, like, subscribe to this video, share it with your Jeep friends, Peace.